welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a 1980s makeup look. This is yet another in my series, Makeup Through the Decades. I feel like this one is getting a little bit exciting. I love the 80s. I feel like most people love the 80s. So I'm going to pop up some images on the screen right now to show you guys some inspiration for this look. Um, so far I've done foundation and I've honestly done brows and I didn't really think about that when I did it, but their brows were pretty normal as you will see from the pictures. Um, they're pretty standard like how we do our brows today um honestly so is the makeup minus a few things so i'm just going to basically i think i'm going to start with the eyes i'm going to be going in with the anastasia riviera palette because i'm going to be using some bright colors so i think i am going to go in with a pink on the lid i'm going to go in with monte carlo which is just like a rosier pink but i'm going to put this basically everywhere. I'm going to kind of start and buff it out and I'm just going to put this all over the lid. I think this is going to be my main shade. This is kind of how they did their makeup. I honestly don't even know if they used many shimmer shades, but they definitely used like one bright color and kind of blew it out all over the lid. Alright, so basically this is a color on the lid. I think this is pretty much good. I'm going to go in with Palmero, which is a pink shimmer shade in the middle, and I'm just gonna kind of lightly put this on the lid. I don't, it's a little intense, so I don't want it to be too intense. I just want to like dust it on the lid for some extra shimmer and color. So we are moving on to the bottom lash line. I I'm gonna go in with Canis, Canis, Canis. I don't know, um, but it is just a dark purple shade, and I'm gonna buff this all along the lower lash line. Alright, so I put the purple on the lower lash line. I think I'm going to go in with Bahamas, which is a very bright pink. And I'm going to kind of buff that along the lower lash line as well, just to give it a little bit more color and match it to the top. I am also going to go in with this. This is a LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Bikini Time. It's just purple. I'm going to try my hardest to put this in the lower lash line, like in my waterline, and see how it goes. So, basically, this is what it's looking like. I messed up my makeup a little bit by um touching my face this is honestly my type of look i actually really like this the next thing that i'm going to do is go in with blush now i'm going to go in with this middle shade in the alamar cosmetics and they pretty much as you can see from one of the pictures that i'm going to post up right now they almost contoured with this like they did super heavy intense blush and they really made it prominent, like, right here, kind of where we contour at. And I'm not a big blush person. If you watch my videos, you know that. But I'm just going to use this exactly how they would. And I'm just going to put it right here where you kind of normally contour. Now I'm going to put on a highlighter. I'm going in with this. This is Cupcake by Shop Miss A. It's just like a pinky kind of shade kind of to match the blush in a way and really just okay so basically this is almost it I feel like this was really fast I'm about to just find a lipstick let me kind of see all right so this is the lipstick I chose this is the wet n wild rosebud I love this color. I feel like it's so pretty and I love these lipsticks too. I feel like they are definitely a hidden gem just like an FYI but this is the look. I'm gonna be honest with you. I I really like it. Like I feel like I needed a more um, like potent and pigmented blush to really get the look going but I tried my best and I feel like it looks really good. This is definitely my type of makeup. I love doing dramatic looks with like pop of color on the eye. I actually really, really like this, so I am definitely here for it. You're going to see a lot of pictures of this look probably on my Instagram, so be prepared for that. Make sure you follow me. But yeah, so this is basically the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, as always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you all subscribe before you leave, and I will just catch you guys in my next video. Bye!